After nearly two years of fighting COVID-19, healthcare workers have had little relief. WHO 13 Stephanie Johnson talked with hospital leaders today. So Stephanie, how are doctors and nurses feeling right now? Well, Aaron, hospitals are feeling the strain of the virus. And as you can see behind me, this chart shows just how cases have trended up, which is impacting how hospitals care for patients. There are only so many beds. We cannot magically create new beds rapidly or new staff. That's not how it works. You know, our staff are well trained and it takes time to train staff. There's only so much space and throughout the city and our state and our nation, we have hit that limit and it's really changing how we provide care in this country. Now, Dr. Eckhart says a majority of their beds are being used for unvaccinated patients. So while they're trying to treat unvaccinated patients, the doctor says the hospital is dealing with staff shortages and Unity Point Methodist Medical Center is not alone. Other hospitals across the nation have reposted this image explaining what hospital workers fear and not having of not having the capacity to treat other patients who are dealing with other ailments. Iowa hospitals are urging the public to get their vaccines. The vaccines are proven to decrease the number of people hospitalized if they get COVID. You may still get COVID, but you won't end up in a hospital. And that is what really is important right now. Now, Dr. Eckhart, Eckhart also says that uh, getting vaccinated doesn't only impact you, but the whole community. She said when beds are, are being used, it limits what healthcare workers can do for others who are dealing with other ailments such as cancer and other ailments. Mm -hmm. Aaron. All right. Thank